Hello, Superherd, and welcome back to Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. It's always such a mouthful, I always forget. I love how we can make them go in a little circle like this, so this is super cute. Anyways, we have a lot to do before we get back into the action of exploring through World 1. We first have to see how many coins we got. We got 696, we could upgrade somebody's weapon, and we can see there's a lot of weapons to choose from. Now, I think there's also some DLC available in this game that I could get, but I think I wanna hold off. I just sorta like the natural progression of the game. I think the DLC just gives you weapons that would make everything easier. Maybe that would be a good idea then, but I don't know. Who has the weakest attack right now? Mario hits for 25 to 35. He has 10 cells of range, 25 to 35, 20 to 30. So do, like, does, do any of these really hit harder? I guess not. Um, what about for Mario? I mean, these do. That hits for 30 to 40. That's the biggest upgrade yet. This is honey damage, that's bounce damage. I don't know why it says this is going down on the top right there, even though there's nothing there. I guess because the one we have is stronger against Ziggy's, but we're going against bigger and bigger variety of enemies. So what do I like better? Do I like honey or do I like bounce damage? And I gotta say, I think I like the honey more just because incapacitating the enemies seems to be a higher chance of working out for me than bouncing them off the edge of the map. Because if you don't, then it's just like, oh well, and they'll just walk back to where they were. Let's go ahead and buy this. That'll be a great upgrade for Mario. He'll be doing the highest damage out of the entire team now. And we also have the skill tree, which we have 10 points to dedicate to our four characters. We'll definitely be playing as some Luigi today, because that would be nice and fun. Um, but for right now, we have Rabbit Peach, you know, Rabbit Luigi, Luigi, and Mario. So we can do different things here. First of all, like, there's a whole skill tree here, and it's weird to keep up. Okay, so to activate, I need 10. So it looks like I can, oh, but I have 10 for each character. Ah, okay, I don't have to spread that 10 across all four characters. Okay, um. So we have these two abilities right now, which are dash and team jump, of course. But then we have stomp jump. And it's an attack at an enemy's head allows for team jump afterwards Mario lands on a nearby cell. So I can jump off an en or a teammate and then land on an enemy and then bounce again. Or maybe vice versa, I'm not really sure. We also have a melee. Oh, this is going to, I think, activate the secondary weapon. Close range weapon that can hit multiple targets at once. Now, we do have one melee weapon at the least, but the thing is, I just spent my coin, so it might not be a good idea to spend it now. And then thirdly for Mario, we have M power. Uh, increases Mario's weapon damage along with the damage caused by any heroes in range. So he has sort of an aura to him. Not only will he have some boosted damage, but the people around him. Other characters also have sort of like a double bounce kind of thing, because we're on Luigi right now, as you can see. So, I, I, I still like that, but I think if Mario's gonna be, oh, we don't have enough for that one, actually. Okay, I was gonna, maybe we should save up for that one then for Mario. If Mario just got his damage upgrade, we can hold on then. But I think it would be good to get him a damage upgrade that's in his technique. Interesting. And then we have Rabbit Peach. Uh, this would cost 10, or this cost us 20. So we actually can't afford anything for Rabbit Peach, so maybe we shouldn't even bother looking at this for right now. Uh, when it comes to, same thing with these rabbits, but he can afford those, get at least one upgrade. Weakens enemy weapons near Rabbit Luigi. Oh, that's really good, another aura technique kind of skill. Area affecting all enemies within range. Or area attack affecting. Oh, because this is, this is a secondary weapon, okay. Um, allow Rabbit Luigi to drain an enemy's health points with a dash. Ooh, that's so good though. Some of these are really good. I don't want to spend any points right now. Um, how much does this cost? Um, oh, th those are, okay. Um, this right here is the secondary weapon. Never stops chasing its target. It will detonate when it gets close. Can be destroyed. Ooh, I want to try that. What else does he have? Area of movement is increased for all heroes in range. Uh, allows Luigi to perform a team up jump with two successive heroes. Hmm. Okay, so we're saving up a lot of our points, but we gotta get some kind of experience. They look like toys in this lighting, it's so weird. You've unlocked the sentry, never stops chasing its target, it will detonate when it gets close, can be destroyed. Very cool, so we have that, our first upgrade, and you can see it unlocks two additional upgrades right now, and it looks like those are multiple upgrade things. So like, we can upgrade it once to get plus 5% damage, um, on high ground, but if we upgrade it again, we can get another plus five, and then finally a plus 10. So that's interesting. We can also do autofill, so if we want, you know, the game to choose for us. Interesting, interesting stuff. So we got our characters a little bit more upgraded, not majorly, but more than that, we have a plan for the future. Now we were exploring all over this area, getting red coins, getting different treasure chests, and you can see there's still more treasure chests again. I'm not exactly sure how to get them just yet. Did we pass anything over here that maybe I could've? No, 
I don't think so. So, this area is so weird. Um, let's get out of here. Let's go the only way I think we can still go, and that's just down this main path. Yeah, we've gone down that pipe several times. I don't need the... But there's still so much we can do in this area. We're gonna have to replay this entire world, it looks like, if we wanna go ahead and get um, some of these secrets. World 1-6 on the bubble. Hmm. Oh, I love that background, that is so cool. Seeing that giant statue in the background. But we got our first battle of the day! We gotta defeat all of them. Very, very cool. And once again, I could pull out easy mode here, but I think we'll be just fine. And if I could set up my party really quickly. So if we go in to prepare for battle, I'm going to go to Battle HQ. And who should we cycle out? I think... Hmm. I think... No. I think I want to do this. No. No, that's not what I want to do. Uh... No, yeah, I want to get you and you, and that's gonna be our team. Why I wanna do that is just because I wanna try something different. As you can see, now we have Mario, Luigi, and Rabbit Peach. And I think that right now, Rabbit Luigi was sort of our weakest character. I don't know though, maybe it was Rabbit Peach? Hard to say. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I don't know. I'm sort of having second thoughts. I think that maybe I should Upgrade Mario to his double jump. I know, I just, you know, was thinking about this. Let's just let's just go ahead and give it a shot. Right there. There you go. Confirm upgrade and attack an attack at an enemy's head following a team jump afterwards. Uh afterward Mario lands on the nearby cell. Okay, so we'll get that a shot sometime. That'll be nice and fun. But for now, first battle time. Uh fight. Yes. So we got some rabbits all over the place. We have one here, and we have one here, and then there are several up and around here that I'm sure they're going to make some unfun advancements, but they got a while to go, so we can't really put too much energy in trying to predict it. Um, now the thing is, is that we're in or behind a pretty stable thing here. Now I don't think they can destroy this, but it is high ground, so if they do land the damage on us, I think it'll have a high ground bonus for them. So what is the best thing we can do right now? Um, first off, let's activate this for Mario when triggered. Okay. And then, maybe I can move him. Mm, I wish we had a better setup for him. Maybe we could uh, hold off for him for right now then. We will switch to Rabbit Peach, and we will have her like here. And then, let's let's go back to uh, Mario for right now. Can we have Mario bounce off of you, bounce off of him, and then land? Ooh, there's not too many good landing spots for him, but we could put him right here. It might not be the best spot, but we can attack that guy directly 100%, I think. So let's go ahead and try that. So let's see, bounce off of you, land off of you. That is so cool, I love that a lot. So now, you are 20%, or not 20%, but 20 health. Okay, well I didn't actually mean to do that, but hey, it was a critical honey, which would have been great on the other character. And, hmm. So Mar Luigi, unfortunately, can't do a ton here. And from here, I don't think he can even attack that character. So let's run, make you run over here. Luigi's so cool. But he has a really long, I should have checked that first, because he has a really, really long thing. But, um, so he has a secondary weapon. This is our first ever secondary weapon. I could set this up, but do I still have the other weapon available when I do this? I guess we'll find out. Look at this thing. <laughs> that is awesome. And that took him out. That was 50 damage, that was insane. And then also his Selly Stare when triggered 18 to 23 weapon damage. Okay. Don't know when we're gonna actually be able to use that, but I think we're good to finish off right now. So let's go ahead and go to the enemy turn. Oh gosh, I'm already having a lot of fun in today's episode. So that's really, really good. Um. Oh, Mario getting ready for him, boom, right in the face. So that's gonna be like half their health maybe. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, Luigi doing the same thing, that sniper shot. I really like Luigi so far. I like his huge range. Even if he doesn't do as much damage, his secondary definitely packs a wall up. Oh, geez. Oh, but he didn't hit him. He didn't hit him at all. And then finally, there's this one. I think this is the last one that's moving around. He seems to be making a defensive move. Let me switch to Luigi really quickly. So he needs to wait an extra turn before he gets another shot at that. So I think my best bet is actually to move over to Mario. Could I jump off of you, and then like, jump off of you, and then jump off of you additional time? I can't, but that would be awesome. Um, hmm. Well, maybe if he was in range, I have no idea how that works. But now, this actually isn't too bad, because I could have you just get back here. Yeah, let's do that, ready? Slide attack you, 
And then <laughs> I think this jump was a little worthless. I'm just wasting my own time, but it's always fun. And then boom, I actually hit your barrier, which is sort of silly. Um, could I bounce off of Mario from this angle? Um, I could, and then, hmm. It doesn't really leave me with too many opportunities, because yeah, I could go over here, but these guys are just gonna walk through and attack her. So I wonder, and could I just normally walk over here? I actually can't, so it is worth bouncing off of Yoon. Just like that, bada bing, bada boom. This might be a better angle to hit him. And let's see, can I hit him? Oh, boom. Yes, I can, and it's a critical, so that's gonna take him out. So now Luigi, hopefully he can hit somebody here. And weapon damage reduction, I might not wanna do that this turn. Let's see, what can Luigi really do around here? There are some enemies up here, and I don't know if he could actually hit those characters. I guess the best way to find that would be, I have a 0% chance of hitting that character, but it's the only character in range right now. So if I switch back to Luigi, I have his movement. Hmm. I guess you could sort of see where those characters are. Because he's up on the high ground, though, it's just really hard to see what advantages I've had I'd have. But I think maybe what's best, uh Actually, I guess it would just be easier just to go here and for Luigi. And I can have him shoot at this barrier, just you know, to get him to use this thing. If it ain't anything else, it's that. And then I will use an uh, Can I use Rapid Peach here? To uh I can't move on. Uh, What's his name? Beepo right now. I was gonna use Beepo to pick up that coin. It ain't that big of a deal, it's just one coin. But first, we have these rabbits. You know, they're doing the rabbit thing. Oh, now he's just sort of changing position. He is gonna shoot at me, but it's gonna be a 0% chance. Oh, no, he's going for Rabbit Peach. Didn't see that. Same thing for this guy then, most likely. Or not. Oh, no, he did. Oh, poor Rabbit Peach. Rabbit Peach is starting to get more health, though. Hmm. Can I hop up here as Rabbit Peach? I could. And then I could just full on blast but I just don't know if that's really that good of idea. idea. We could try it. I mean, she does have the weapon reduction move, so it might be worth it. No, I didn't mean to do that, no! No, 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 is there an undo button? There's not, oh, that's the worst. Oh, butts. Oh, stinky butts. Okay, well maybe Mario can, no, he can't. Gosh darn it, that is the worst ever. I had to be more careful. Um, then my best opportunity for Mario is probably just to do that, slide through here. Luckily Mario does a lot of damage, so hopefully this will get something done. Can I hit him from here though? Actually, I might not be able to. I can, ready, boom, bam, nice. So, Luigi is our best bet right now to get anything additional done. What can Luigi do from here? He can go through the pipe, and then he has a little bit more movement space, so we could get him to hide right here, and, and then just blast that guy. All right, Luigi. Luigi has such a cautious run. It's so cool, or cute, really, I don't know. Luigi just has a cool character. All right, then we can shoot Yoon, but you know what? I should have tried the other thing here. I should have, if I go back to Luigi, um, does he have, oh, I guess he doesn't, okay. Because I was gonna say maybe he has his extra ability, but I guess he doesn't. All right, well, I can't hit him from here guaranteed. The best thing I can do is shoot at that, and then, you know, just get speed up a little bit. We'll set this up just because we're in a really bad position. We're probably gonna get hurt here, so we might as well try to block off as much of it as possible. Or you're gonna go for that guy for no reason. Okay. I'm still not really in a position to do much more than um, attack this barrier, make it an even lower chance that you'll survive this. Hey, don't pick up my coins. All right, now we're gonna switch to a different character. I like Luigi. And we can just attack in. Boom. And then finally, what I'll do, is I will switch to Mario, and we could probably bounce off of you, and I can't quite get him from here. So we'll just land here, and then we'll just blast at you full force, and that should do something, right? We. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, which also that game gets re-released on the 3DS next month, sort of next month. Uh, this should be going out on like the 30th or the 31st, so not next month yet, but as soon as it's September, it'll be next month, the beginning of October. We got the Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga and Bowser's something something. Um, 
but yeah, or Bowser's Minion, something like that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be playing that. That's gonna be really fun. I've never really properly played a Mario and Luigi game before, and especially not on the channel, so that's gonna be really fun. I can't wait for it, but hey, we're all gonna get healed. We are looking great, and I guess if any character is sort of looking a little on the sour side, either be like Rabbit Peach or, Ra or Luigi here, we can switch them out with a actual Rabbit Luigi, so that's good. Uh, let's defeat all these guys. There's a Chain Chomp in the center, which I'm not really liking the looks of. All right, if my readings are accurate, that's a Chain Chomp. Your readings are indeed accurate. It may be asleep now, but as soon as it senses our presence, it will wake up eager to bite us. Or one of those enemies, really. A Chain Chomp doesn't discriminate. It's all just zero, it'll just zero in on the closest target. The good news is that the Chain Chomp uh, will only charge once we have completed our turn. So our goal should probably be to wake up that chain jump and then end the turn. Let's do it. Uh, I'm going to have you, Mario. So these right here, these are wooden blocks. They're not as strong as the bricks. But if I put you here, oh, he's already awake. So could I attack him? Oh, I can. All right, then we might as well just shoot at you. Boom, that didn't hit you. That's okay. Um, We'll get that ready. And of course, if you guys ever you know see something I could be doing better in the game, always let me know. Hmm. Well, Luigi could hit you. Then, oh wait, would I be in the range? I would be, but I thought he doesn't attack until the turn ends. I guess we'll find out one way or another. Might be the hard way, but hey, it's fine. Um, and we'll have you go here, because we're gonna make this guy so low. So he does get alerted, but he does not attack until um his turn. So I could get this bad boy going, um, this thing right here. No, that's not what I meant, this thing. And, oh, we could get it over there, because that could do some good damage to these two. Yeah, let's do that. Set that up, that's not what I meant to do. But hey, 43 damage, that's insane. Um, and we'll get that set up. I'm a wiener. Okay. Um. Now, Rabbit Peach can't reach that one or this one. So I think Rabbit Peach's best bet is to hide somewhere like here and then see if we can't just blast this dude, lower his health a little bit. And now let's see what the Chain Chomp will do. Can we attack the Chain Chomp to wake him up? I mean, he's already awoken this turn, so it's not really much of a matter, but it's Chain Chomp's turn. He's gonna, oh boy, boom, 75 damage. So it was gonna attack that guy, because he is now taken out. Now what about you over here? So Chain Chomp actually isn't, oh, he only has one move though. Okay, so he just doesn't devour everybody around. You have seven health, so that's gonna be a guaranteed takedown. That was a good thing to have then, very good. Luigi is awesome. Oh gosh, oh, poor Luigi though. He's in a bad position now, but, oh, Mario, protecting his bro, boom. That was good. He's still, you know, gonna attack Luigi, unless, no, nah, Luigi gonna get blocked off there. So Luigi's not doing so good with health right now. He only has 60 health, so he's a bit of more of a fragile character, and I should have had him maybe in a safer position, but there wasn't really too many good blocks to hide behind. Okay, so what are my best bets right now? I could hop off of Mario, and where would that bring me that might be good? I mean, not really too many places. I might just wanna try to take my opportunity with attacking this guy, if I change my weapon to that. My chance of actually hitting him is zero, though. So if I switch back to Ewan, I could go here, and my chance is still zero though? Hmm, weird. Well then, I might as well get behind here, because the chances are that Chain Chomp is gonna attack the guy right in front of him. Um, I can attack you, or I can attack him. I'm gonna attack his barrier, and hopefully it'll get something done for me, a little bit. And then, uh, we're gonna switch to a different character. We got Luigi over here. I could move him into a spot where he might be able to attack more people, but I don't like that too much. So I think instead, I will launch this somewhere. Hmm. So this won't make it on this turn, but once again, it chases the enemy forever. So who can I attack right now? I guess this, these are my three options, which is sort of weird, because I know there's more people in that range. Uh, but let's go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, nobody's quite in that range just yet. I could hide here with Mario, I mean, I guess I can't hide on the same spot that Mario is in, but I could just go way back here and, and hope that that's better, or I could just move Mario first. So let's go ahead and try that. Mario's over here. Where can we move Mario to? Maybe just here. And then if I move Mario here, I can have him attack this barrier. So not too much attacking going on this turn. A lot of setup for bigger and better things. 
Let me get Beepo to get that coin. And then Luigi can't attack, so I'm just gonna have him hide here. So there we go, it's basically the enemy's turn now. I think that I wanna hold on to that damage reduction. And yeah, you're gonna chop him, which is great. Oh, he might attack our, our thing this turn though, that's scary. Okay, so enemies are moving, they're actually backing up, getting away from the chain chomp, don't worry, I would too. And you're running away back there. So you, they can destroy that, that is a good thing. Wait, why can you attack twice? What was that? I guess this guy, that's his thing. Oh, okay, so it only got one of them, but still, that's really good. So what's my best bet now? I gotta be careful because of the chain chomp, but I could hide Rabbit Peach somewhere in this area. Would that be a good idea, though? Hmm. What is Luigi's range from here? Could I actually hit that character? I can't see that one. I have a 50% ch chance of landing this shot. Might as well go for it. Come on, Luigi, you got it. Ah, oh, not quite. We tried that, we tried. Let me go ahead and pick up these two. <laughs> that rabbit's just jumping around because he knows he's in danger. Um, Maybe it'd be better. I don't know what's going on with Mario. I guess just because he's in the chain chomps range. Uh, I could bounce off of her, hide here, and try to take a shot at that one rabbit. I think that's our best bet here. Yep. Elio, and then, ooh, okay, I can only shoot you. Let's hope it lands. It does, it's great. So now, I've already, I have not moved Rabbit Peach, so I could maybe move Rabbit Peach right here. That'd be a good move. And then I've already shot with her, right? I have not, so I have a guaranteed shot on him. That's good. And just in case I do advance on her, Maybe now, because if, if they don't, I'm gonna be winning next turn, I think. So, Luigi, I don't want you to move, dude. So, we are done. There you go, chain chomp. Do your worst. <laughs> you really did your worst there, buddy. Okay, so, he's gonna take a shot at Mario. It's just gonna hit this barrier. This barrier definitely is weaker. It seems to be like a wooden block compared to the brick blocks here. And, and he's going to 100% chance hit Mario. That ain't good. But hey, Mario had plenty of help there, so it's fine. So Luigi's in a bit of a precarious position, but what I'd rather him do more than anything else is just to take a shot at somebody. So I could have him either take a guaranteed hit at him, but not finish him off. I could do that, actually. You know what we'll do? We'll do exactly that, because what I can do is if he doesn't take care of this rabbit, that's totally fine with me, because I can go ahead and shoot at you. It does finish him off, though. Okay, I was gonna say Mario could just bounce off of him and then land on the other guy. Um, so we could switch to Mario. And where can I move Mario? That might be good. I can move him like this. And then have a higher chance at hitting him. And that'd be good. Ready? I mean, I don't think it's a higher chance, but <laughs> I would think for Mario it would be. Oh, nope, never mind. Okay, well, Rabbit Peach can essentially do the same thing. I could just have her bounce off him and just dead shot. See, last time we did this, it gave us a bonus of some sort. We'll do the same this time. Uh, I guess not? Okay, battle cleared. What's it matter? We win another perfect round. Turns four out of five. I love it. Good, good stuff. And we get our heals, so that was the end of this level. That's cool. So awesome, awesome stuff. We get ourselves a couple extra 100 coins, or three, 400 in total. Good. And 10 more points. Is that gonna be 10 more points for every character then? Because if so, that's awesome. So if we go to our battle HQ really quickly, we now have for every character, you have none still. Or no, no, you have 10. Um, But then everybody else that we haven't spent, like these two have multiples. That's really good. So 20, hmm, I think we wanna do this. This is allow Rabbid Peach to dash more than one enemy while on the move. Oh, I like that a lot. Then restores health points to all heroes in range. That one's really good too. Ooh, ooh. Let's do this one for now, because we definitely need some healer abilities. So we got that for here, her now. And then for Yoon, um, hmm, I want this one, yes. Okay, yay, yay. <laughs> He's so timid, I love it. Uh, and then if we go to Luigi, his moves are pretty expensive right now, so we're gonna hold off. Very, very good. Let's go down here. So now we got some splitting paths, it seems. Uh-oh, uh, uh -oh, broken bridge ahead. I guess we need to find an alternative to continue on our path. Seems like we do. Uh, well, there's another one right here. And we have over 500 coins now, so I'm sure we could get some kind of weapon purchased, but for right now, I'm not really sure. 
there's a cannon over here. There's not too much else I can do. So this is a cool looking area, by the way. The aesthetics are really cool here. The, like, the environments that we've been experiencing for obvious reasons have been different from other Mario environments because of the narrative of the game. Look at those rabbits bouncing on the sponge. I love that. Um, and because of that, it makes me think, I would really like to see some of these areas you know, that might be inspired. Oh, is that what I wanted though? Hmm, it isn't, because now I can't get over there. How can I do that? Let's press that button again. And now this is facing that way, towards a gift. So maybe I could get up there some other way. Now let's get the camera, the camera, the cannon that shoot us over this way. But it would be cool to see these environments in like Mario Kart or Mario Party. You know, because that's always something they do. Once they invent more environments, they always uh, end up in implementing them. What is this about? Oh. What is that thing? Looks like a bubble blower. That was an eight inch bubble wand in our world. Now it's 80 feet. We'll have to bring over a burrito next time. Oh yes, that'd be amazing. Could end world hunger. But I, I don't think Mario World is suffering from world hunger. So this was a pretty simple puzzle to figure out. There we go. And that is a parabid plant. Okay, that's the boss we went against last episode. That was fun. So we've done just about all we can do from what I see. How do I switch this one? Was there a red switch I just didn't perceive there was? Over here now, and we, I guess how we can move during the cutscene, I didn't realize that. Oh, we can do that, I know how to get there. We just have to hop across like that, press this button, go across like this, press this button, and then we can get up here, go across, and then we're good to go. Hooray, we did it. Nice stuff. And then we can just, yeah, keep going. That was cool. What is this about? Oh, it's the same thing again. I know, I already heard about it. I just thought it was something different. I know, I know. Okay, so I think we're going into the next level now, which should be 1-7? I'm not really sure, but I think this guy's supposed to be the guy on the toilet. <laughs> Definitely is. There's a tiny plaque here of an artist that reads rabid building a log cabin. I wonder what that means. It means he has to poop. Silly. Uh, So what else can we do in this area? This is very... Swampy, and that's cool. Ooh, there's another secret. That one wasn't too bad to find. Uh, Luigi, yay, Luigi model. He's right here, so that's pretty cool. We got everybody healed up for right now. There's another broken bridge, so I guess we have to go this way. But of course, I'm trying to thoroughly explore everything we can see. Here's one seven, um, and I'm sure some kind of cutscene is gonna happen. It looks like there's a battle right ahead, so before we do anything more, I should go ahead and uh, team selection, or no, weapon selection. Let's see what I can upgrade. Mario has a decent weapon right now. I definitely want to upgrade Luigi's as strong as possible. So right now we are doing a 35-45. This is also, so all three of these are all 35-45. So I guess we shouldn't even worry about that. Instead we should look into their info. So, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, so if we go here, this is ink damage. The damage dealt when a weapon super effect is triggered. Ink prevents affected combatants from performing any action requiring weapon attack, including reactions. Interesting. Um, so if we back out, this has bounce, and then this has bounce, and then also good against smashers, who we've not run into yet? Hmm. Let's see. I mean, raises the chance, I guess, against smashers to bounce them around. Maybe we should give this one a shot. Maybe we should have at least one bounce weapon. Okay, let's equip that now. And then, when it came to the secondary, um, I keep on getting X and Y mixed up. We don't have any new secondaries for him. Okay, well, we spent our money. Let's go to one seven. Oh boy, what's happening? I think we have Beepo vision. No, this is not Beepo. Or no, it is. I don't see Beepo. So we're probably looking through Beepo's eyes. Oh no, it's this little guy. He is so adorable. And he's having a good time. Whoa, look at him go. Here's an acrobat. Got some awesome parkour going on. Uh, and that was it. Do you stack up? Uh, stack up against what? A competition? I sure hope so. So we can't go down here once again because I can't move blocks. That is frustrating. Uh, there's some weird glass under here. Doesn't look like there's anything we can do in this platform. I just will hop over and head and do a battle. Bada bing, bada boom. Progress saved. Defeat five enemies. Why five enemies? What happens after that? Does it just end? Okay. Uh, prepare for battle really quickly. Who do we have around here? We have one up there. One up here. Uh, another up here. Is there any behind us? Doesn't look like it. Um, 
That's really it. So that was, was that even five enemies? One, two, three, four. What's there even two? No, there's just three in total. So I'm guessing more enemies are gonna show up because we can't hop over there quite yet. I didn't want to go to Battle HQ. Not what I went to be, went meant to do. Oh gosh, fight. Okay, so first off, let's get Luigi in a good position. Obviously, we don't really want to do this, I don't think. I'm trying to find a good place to hide him. I would assume, I don't know. I don't know where's a good place to hide him. Cause this guy on the right is gonna be a problem. Maybe we should hide him here and, and then, and we're not even playing as Luigi right now. We should get Luigi, hide him here, and, and then maybe Mario could bounce up there to the right. So if we switch to Mario, can he bounce? He can bounce up here. Ooh, that might be really good. Um, and then we can just have him attack this guy full on. Ready, bada bing, bada boom. And then attack you. You have 90 health though, because you're a bouncer yourself, or a jumper, or something like that. And then we'll activate that. Sure, why not? Mario time, wahoo. And then we could also have a uh, rabbit peach hop up here too. It might just be a good idea. Hmm. Let's get you up there. So Luigi's helping out a lot here. And then I was hoping that maybe we could take you out. And then she has her heal now, which is great. Uh. Ah, oh, didn't land on him. So we're in sort of a precarious position with this guy. I'll go ahead and get my defense up then. And then, who can I hit here? You're the, oh no, I can't hit him. Okay, so we can hit him, maybe. Yes, we can, 37 damage, that's a good start. And then we'll activate that, because I think we need as much defense and just offense in these first couple turns as possible, just because of the position of the enemies. Oh, Mario, landing that shot. Was hoping you would use that for the rabbit that was right next to your face, but hey, you know what? That character's getting very low. Why are you bouncing? Oh, Luigi with the air shot. Look at him. <laughs> Luigi with the trick shots and everything. I'm so proud of him. He's so cool. And these rabbits are simply just gonna go through the pipes. Okay. So, and you're gonna shoot at this guy. Mario. I know his name. Don't judge me. And then now Mario has no defenses, but hey, that's fine. Um, Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. Luigi's in a bit of a precarious position, but I think I know how to solve that. And that's simply by, yeah, putting this, I could try to make it, hmm. Let's just try to attack him. I don't know how, I think I wanna do it like this so I don't destroy that barrier, but maybe I should wanna destroy that barrier. I'm not really sure. And boom. Nice. Okay, so if I was Mario right now, could I bounce off of her and then bounce off of him and then land right here and attack him for 100%? I could. Ready? Ba-boom. Nice, did we just finish him off? I sure hope so. Uh, no, he still has five health. That's sort of a bummer. All right, boom, hit you. Does, can Luigi still move though? Have we moved Luigi? We have not, so I could actually just get him to go over here and finish him off. I then go back to where you were. Or maybe even here, that might be safer. So this is gonna be the third, or the second enemy we take on, and then maybe Rabbit Peach can take care of this uh, third one. How much health does he have? He's hiding over here. So it looks like her best move would be to do that, and then to hide like here. Yep. And then, just blast him. Just straight up blast him, ready? Bada bing, bada boom. And that's still not enough to take him out. He's the only one left though. So we might as well finish our turn. Oh, I like the Donkey Kong barrels in the background. Hold on, is Donkey Kong gonna make an appearance? Look at the DK barrels in the background and the blue shell, the, this blue shell, shell statue, that's cool. All right, so it's just up to us to chase down this one last rabbit and finish him off. And hopefully that'll work out well. I'm not sure though. Because this is the last one. It told us to take care of five rabbits, but where are these other rabbits at? Um, target's out of range. Okay, where are these? Oh, now they're here. Okay, now it's their turn, which is not good. How was I supposed to know where they're gonna pop up? That's sort of weird, I don't like that. All right, I might need Mario's help here soon enough. Uh, oh gosh. Hmm. Now how can Rabbit, oh, and there's more. Um, how can Rabbit Peach get down? Really, in no way from here. So it might be just better to have you do your thing that you just did before. <laughs> just do it again. 
Okay. So and just blast you now. Ready, set, blast. She definitely needs a blaster upgrade. She definitely, definitely needs it. So we're gonna go ahead and get your defense back up. And then we're gonna check out some other characters. If we can use this now, I definitely will. So we just need to destroy two more. How can I do that? I can, ooh, that might be a good idea. Um, Wait, I can't, oh, because I don't have bounce with you. Well then my best bet with you then is to do that and hide you here and then have Mario maybe be able to make a cool combo here and by let's uh, make him switch like that. Bounce off of you, bounce off of you and then can maybe he land up here? He can't land that high off of an enemy bounce. Okay. Hmm, my plan isn't working exactly how I wanted it to. But it can still work. Maybe I should just have him land here, that way he can blast him full on. Ready? Boom. Good. And then finish him off if he needs it, which he definitely, oh, it's not gonna finish him off though. Bouncers have so much health, it's crazy. All right, well, hopefully this lands. It will not, Luigi, come on! Oh gosh, it's bad, that's really bad, because now, this guy's gonna, oh wait, Luigi! Yeah, my man, that's four. And it bounced him too, that critical bounce, finishing him off. Oh boy. We got a lot of rabbits doing some crazy stuff right now that I don't appreciate. Huh. And then luckily she has her shield, so it didn't hurt her that bad. It would be cool to have a shield that bounces off and maybe it would end up hurting them. <laughs> that was a silly bounce, but I guess it was because her range was at the end of it. Mario, no! Yeesh. We just need to get rid of one more character. Who should we hit then? Who has the lowest health of, out of everybody? It's gonna be this guy with 36 health. So I would almost want to play as Luigi like we are. Um, Just have him run up here and just snipe him right in the face. This is still 50% chance shot for some reason. Critical, oh look at you, see you buddy. That means we won, right? We did, awesome. That was really tough, but we did it pretty well. <laughs> the bubble gum. Can't even you know pose for a second without taking a look at our phone. So there was actually a cannon up here. And I wanna make sure, okay, this cannon just I think brings us back here, I'm pretty sure. Had to make sure, not missing out on any cool secrets, but yeah, there's a question block back here, which is cool to see. So we're seeing some cool environment stuff, Donkey Kong barrels. I would love to see Donkey and Diddy in this game. That'd be really cool. And then it looks like both of these, wait, where does this bring me? Oh, didn't even realize about that pipe. Okay, going across here and we're going into yet another battle just right away. Oh, that guy does not like, he's one of these smasher characters. I don't like that, whoa, toads! Oh no, hey, don't be so mean. Oh, poor toad. Oh, oh, right in the butt. Hi. Ah, he's mean. I don't like how mean he is, don't smash him. Oh, run, Toad, run. The Smasher and Pinheads in pursuit. Oh gosh, I don't like him. Reach area, so we are not here to survive. We are here, I mean, we are not here to defeat. We are here to survive. Yeesh, scary stuff. There's there was some weird, what, what is going on with my screen there? I don't know, oh no, that's wind passing by. I thought it was like my screen glitching on. My sensors reveal two interesting facts regarding smasher behavior. One, their temper. If struck by a weapon, they will charge their attacker like a raging bull. Um, two, they have the stamina of a walrus after an all-you-can-eat fish fry. If you're far enough away, they stop charging. Okay. I think our first thing we should do is first off, check how many coins we have. We'll go to Battle HQ. And we go to weapon selection. We have 52 coins. We aren't gonna be able to do anything with that. We are gonna heal with Rabid Peach right now. So we're gonna fight and still with our Rabid Peach on. So switch to Hern and then heal. And hopefully this will do enough just to get Mario and Luigi in good straights because they are very low on health. We took a big beating from everything else. So we need to make sure that he does not attack us. Or at least that, yeah, mostly. That's what we want. Um. Okay. Let's do that. No attacking. 
Now, can Mario do like a double bounce off of people? He can't. So where can we get somebody to where it's helpful? I mean, I guess just get Mario. Oh, but he can't even do that. Interesting. Hmm. It's just, we need Mario and Luigi to be very, very careful here. So if they can't make that jump, that's just it. They're not making that jump. Um, and I can't do that, but I can have him hide here. And then we're just gonna end the turn. We are gonna get this turn to end just like that. And hope that he doesn't get too mad at us. Where is he going? He's going straight for Luigi. Come on, poor Luigi. This, please don't do 80 damage. Oh, close. Way too close. Oh, and there's enemies popping up. Where are we supposed to go? Aren't we supposed to? No, we're supposed to get, oh no. That's way farther than I thought. Oh no, 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 no. How are we going to do this? Can we do this? I need Mario to hop off of Yoon. It'd be fun if you could hop off of him and then get somewhere, but uh, it's not really gonna change too much now, is it? Hmm. I need Luigi to get out of there pronto if we want to perfect this, though. So let's get Luigi out of here by uh, switching. You know what I could do? is to get this big brew off of them, I could attack him just to distract him, just like that. Oh, he starts charging right away though. That's not fair. Um, Go like this, and then where can we get her to hide? This is definitely a longer distance for him to travel, so we might as well do that, and just have him distracted. But now we can get Luigi the heck out of here by, oh, we can't get him to leave? Like, for real, though, that stinks. Oh well, close enough. He'll be able to skedaddle next turn. All right, that's all we're doing, um, I think. And that's like we can get this. Can we get this to go, no, no. This to go up, no, I, we can't do that, okay. Um, enemy's turn, yep. I didn't do that! I didn't mean to do that! Oh no. Oh no, there's another one. I don't like this right now. So she's gonna attack Rabbit Peach, and then this thing's gonna attack Rabbit Peach, or try to, and not exactly succeed. So I could stay up, or stay, you know, keep Rabbit Peach down here and distract this Smasher, but I think what's more important is that I um get out of here. So Mario, can he get up here on his own? Where can he hide then? He could just hide right here. And and then attack this guy behind him head on. Like that. Okay, and that was a honey shot, so that was really, really good right there. That would be our best bet, I think, is to try to land some honey shots, but obviously that is so much chance that it's just sort of silly to expect or want that. So my best bet now is that since these guys don't walk too far, I can either, I think going back here is gonna be our best bet. Because he shouldn't be, because he has to walk around that now and it's gonna be a real challenge for him. All right, so we can get you, and then bounce to here, and that would be good. Wee! Wee! <laughs> Wee! Okay. Um, see, the thing is, if I launch this, will he attack that, or will he attack me? I don't know, but I wish I could sort of choose the path it took. It would damage him a lot, and I don't think it's what I want, though. I need Luigi to stay as safe as possible. So we're just not gonna do that this turn. And just hope, okay, so she, he didn't launch it last time. It just made sort of a sound effect that made it sound like he did. See, look at how close he is, oh my gosh. I don't like it. So where are you gonna go? No, no, that's not fair. That's not fair, that's not fair. He totally moved farther than the other guy did and now Luigi's out. Come on. I guess we should have flipped with Mario and Luigi there. and That stinks. So I think my best bet here is to bounce off of Oh, I can't even bounce off of you. Maybe then I could switch to Rabbit Peach. I could get Rabbit Peach over here. And, or maybe like over, nah, that's too far. I need to have her over here. And, and then, can she heal him? She has to wait one turn, but maybe she can actually heal him. But I'm gonna go ahead and bounce off of you and then bounce off of, oh man, that is such a small distance though. All right, then I don't know if I can do that. That is, what, what? What? Okay, 
I messed something up there. I was gonna say that is not what I meant to do, but I didn't really do anything. Okay, so um, here's my best bet for him. And then I could attack, see if I can't make him mad. You know, get him away from Rabbit Peach, but I think Rabbit Peach is in a decent situation right now. So I don't know if it's a good idea. I think it might just be better to end the turn. So let's do that. This enemy, can this enemy actually fit through a pipe though? He's gonna try, ain't he? He is gonna try. So yeah, you're gonna hit Rabbit Peach because you're a total jerk. But my idea, he's <laughs> just sort of like, bring it on, big guy. What I could try to do is that now it's Rabbit Peach's turn. Um, oh, Is this in the healing range of Luigi? It is, so let's see if this heals Luigi. It doesn't, he's just knocked out. That's the worst. So my best bet is not to do that, but to maybe bounce off of Mario and just get him somewhere. Well, let's do that. That way so Mario can bounce off of her, go through the pipe and hopefully end this horrible, horrible nightmare. So let's go ahead and bounce off. No, it's not far enough though. It's not far enough. Why? Why is it not far enough? <laughs> Luigi, I can really use your help right now. Oh no. Oh, I gotta just do this and hope that this turn doesn't end in shambles. And then maybe switch back to, can I? I can't use Ravage Peach's turn thing because I use this, I guess. Not really sure. So is he gonna go through the pipe here? He is. How can he fit through that thing? And this guy's gonna move. They're sort of like teaming up right now. He can't go far enough though. Okay, so all I need to do, literally all I need to do as Mario go here, we win. Unless I need to get all three characters out. I don't, so we didn't perfect it, which stinks, 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 but we did it at least in the turns we needed to do it. And we get a full heal. Oh, that was treacherous. So what do we get out of that? We get a couple hundred coins, I'm sure. We still get the bonus 200. And we get some extra of other stuff. I hate the silver trophy. There's nothing wrong with the looks of it, but it's just so tantalizing, like you almost did good enough. Uh-oh, there's a banana. We are doing something Donkey Kong related soon, I know it for a fact, but first, it is time for a mini game. Okay, so, what are we gonna run into here? Some mini game stuff, what do you know? Um, go. Oh. So what was that, was that one seven or one eight that we just completed? So we can't actually do that, can we? Um, oh, I see, we're supposed to, oh, quickly, quickly, go like that, and then get the last coin, that's all we need to do. Uh, get that, can I get, I can't hop off the, you can't hop off? There's no jumping in this game at all, whatsoever. Like I know it was supposed to not be a run and jump game, but that's like, isn't this taking it a little too far? Boom, get it, it's gonna be a golden trophy of wonderfulness. And that'll mean it's gonna be a weapon. Oh, it was, ooh, it's a new secondary weapon for Luigi, I like it. Cool, cool, cool. So, <laughs> why did Luigi make a noise out of everybody? I don't know. That's that. What else is going on around here? We have level eight. Hmm. I don't know how to feel about this, but let's go. Uh, world one eight precarious pillar. What's up here? Hmm. Something we <laughs> Luigi's the most vocal out of everybody, but we got ourselves a new battle. Defeat all. I'll try. Hmm. Let me you take a look at everybody and everything. We got one up there. We got one up here. We got another one up here. Another one up here. I'm trying to burp. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta defeat all of these guys to win. Typical battle. How can I get that done? Uh, first maybe we could go to our battle HQ and go to weapon selection. We have 352 coins. Maybe I could afford his secondary? No, that's 500, so that's expensive. It has blah on the front. Blah. All right, so if we go back, go to our skill tree, what can we afford? Mario has 20 points right now, and I want him to save to 30. So let's not do that just yet. Um, We can't afford that for Peach, or Rabid Peach. He has 10 points, which means he can afford this, but what's it matter, he's not even out right now. 20 points for Luigi. What is this? This is allows Luigi, allows, allow Luigi to perform a team jump with two successful hits. Oh, I want that actually. That could have been helpful last round, so maybe I should have saved up for that. Oh well. I mean, his other things have been helpful too, so I'm glad we saved up for those. 
I don't know, complicated stuff. We're fighting! So, right now, honestly, hmm. Let's play as Peach, Rabbit Peach. Put her here, and then she can blast him. I definitely need to save my coins to upgrade Rabbit Peach's blaster, though. Like, I think that's really important right now. So we can hit you for 100%, which is great. And then we could, like, Mario, can you jump from there and, well, you could, but that's not gonna help us a ton now, is it? Hmm. Well, I could hop off of you, hop off of you, and then land here and just take a shot. That might not, it'll finish this guy off, I'm pretty sure. 30 damage, and then I'm gonna hit you for the remainder of your health. Nice. And then finally, just get ready for that. If a character does make a move, we should be fine. So now Luigi doesn't have as many options, especially since there isn't a ton of pipes he can reach. Actually, he can't really hit anybody from here. So I wonder what his best option really is. If we take a look, targets are out of sight. So I can either shoot this one or that one. What, well, is it out of sight? I, I can't shoot that at all. Um, now when it comes to this, what could I do here? I don't think it's a good idea to go for this one because Rabbit Peach could just take that out. We could go for you, just, or I could just go through you because we're gonna have to take two pipes irregardless. So let's just do that. Oh yeah! And then maybe this one, like one of them will make a move and Luigi will be able to hit him good. So let's do that. Yes! Okay. Now Luigi could move somewhere and it might be beneficial. So let's just put him here. That might be good. He's got some, you know, extra protection from here, and nobody quite needs heals yet, but maybe next turn. So let's go ahead, enemy turn. I'm having so much fun with this game, by the way. I know I've said it, but it's really, really a good game so far. I really like that they are taking Mario and doing something different with him, and that's gonna be the case even more with Mario Odyssey. There's a ton of great games coming up. Mario, Nintendo fan or not, there's a lot of great games coming up. I mean, just, you know, to give you guys a debrief on some stuff, it's September. I'm definitely gonna be playing through Knack Toon. Um, I think a hat and time releases this month. If it does, I'll be playing it. If it releases a month after, I'll be playing it. If it releases a month after, I'll be, whenever a hat and time releases, I'm gonna be playing that, which if you know what Mario Odyssey is, a hat and time is sort of like an indie version of that almost. It's super cool. You'll see it and hopefully you'll enjoy it. But this guy, gonna get exploded. Not enough to take him out though. That's a shame. Some. Um, Luigi though, my good old friend right here, he could just walk up. He could just waltz up and beat that dude up. Is that really what he should do though? because he could go on the high ground here and basically do the same exact thing. It wouldn't be a guaranteed shot, but you know what it would be? Is it would be a high ground extra damage if it does land. So that might be what's worth doing here. So let's go ahead and hit you, high ground extra damage. Yes, it did land, awesome stuff. And it's gonna take him out. So now let's rabbit peach. We could actually do some bouncing action. We could boom. And then, ooh, this could be good right here. So we could do that. She can't do too much attacking from here, but who's been hurt? I guess Luigi was the only one hurt, so I should have healed first before I did that. That was a mistake. And she's not he's not in the healing radius either. That was a huge mistake, because I could have healed both her and Luigi. Because it's good to heal, because I'm gonna need that extra health, not this, if not this round, the next round, you know? But I could have Mario, uh, no, 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 that's not what I meant to do! Uh, sometimes I wish it was like an are you sure button because I didn't mean to do that. Come on. Gosh darn it, that sinks because now I'm really gonna get beat up. Or not, because he did an awful job of positioning himself. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Well, if I have him here and I could do this, and this is a 100% chance shot. So, what if I did that? And then when it comes to Rabid Peach, what is her option? She can go up here. She can't quite do anything from there, though. So, and apparently this is an out of sight shot, which I have a hard time believing, but I guess, you know, it is sort of a precarious angle. All right, then our best bet both ways is to just use Yun. Shoot at Yoon. Okie dokie. 
And then Mario should have a 100% chance shot from here and high ground damage as well, so it might finish him off, it might not. Critical, so yes, that will be the end of him. Okay. So, battle cleared, we did okay, and we did perfect it. I just wanted to get Rabid Peach to heal both her and Luigi, just because that, like I said, um, that would have just been more benefits for us for this next round, but now Luigi is a little low on health because of that, so, hmm, how do I move these things? Hopefully we can find out, but uh, for right now I'm clueless. Hmm, I can't move my camera from here either. I don't like that. Uh, what is, there's this like a straight drop. Oh, this is a puzzle. Oh, it's a pipe puzzle. Interesting. Oh, okay. I don't know where the pipe is supposed to be ending though is the thing. It's sort of hard to see from this angle. Um, so this is either on or not. Oh no, it's not. That's actually not the case. Um, uh, well, let me get this to retract so I can actually see this thing. Cause those are all matched up over there, you can see. So if I could get this to match up like that, I can then get the yellow to match up, just like this, and the green just retracts a little bit more. Yep, there you go, we won. Okay, cool. But what is this over here? There's a little, I guess it's like that on all of the sides. Okay, so it's nothing fantastical. Okay, well now we're going up here. This is a really long pipe. <laughs> the guy's running in circles. Oh no, we got more of these bozos. I don't like this, I don't like these. They're not fun. Mm. Okay, let's give it a shot. <sighs> I need a sip of tea just to take this in. Just to be ready for this moment. Um, prepare for battle really quickly. I don't think we're gonna have enough coins to get anything, but it's always good to check. Yeah, we can't. Skill tree, I don't think there's gonna be anything we can really improve. Only when we finish a level will we really have that opportunity. Okay, let's just fight. We got several smashers, we got a smasher here. Thought that was a carrot. It's not, it just slices in the ground. So two smashers, two bouncers, seems to be the idea. And we have to defeat them all. Yeah, we have to defeat all enemies, it tells you in the top right, that is gonna be tough. So first first and foremost, she needs to heal everybody. Like Mario is sort of fine, but Luigi really needs the heals. So we will do that. She will probably run back here or something. That's the thing, we need to sort of play a game of keep away with these guys. I don't like doing it, but it's what we gotta do. So I think my best bet then maybe is to get Luigi to uh, go for you like that and hope that that, you know, works out well. Get that, I don't know, That these things sort of have a chance of unpredictability, so maybe it was a mistake, but we'll get him to hide over here. We need him to stay in the back lines, no matter what. And then Mariam. Maybe we should get Rabbit Peach. You know what we should do is if he's gonna have to, if he's gonna get attacked from the right, maybe we should attack him from the left and see how that, how that affects him. Cause I could get her to hide right here, but that's just sort of, I mean, it is actually maybe a good idea. Because then we can 100% hit him here. And then he's gonna move a little bit closer but hopefully not too close to where this thing can attack him, but now the weed is gonna hit him. Oh, and it bounced, and that's so good. Lucky for us, and once again, there's Luigi's Sniper having an extra chance to do that because it has a 30% chance with bounce. Hmm, so I can't quite do anything here, but what I really wanna do is I, I can't do that. Um, I wanna hide him here, that way hopefully he moves closer to this, this uh, thing that's gonna explode on him. And then we're gonna activate this, Maybe that was a dumb idea, I don't know, but we just really need to pound on these guys because we don't know how easy or difficult it's gonna be, but that's just about everything we can do. And Oh, the double shot, which might be good or bad, we'll have to see, because maybe he can go into the rage of this and it'll explode, yeah, the combos, we beat him! That was so good! Oh no, now it's everybody else's turn. That was such a good combo, though! That was awesome! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Unless it doesn't. <laughs> and then you, what are you gonna do? You're gonna bounce off of him, probably get a good position to attack somebody. Yep, but will you? You will, okay. Hmm, and then you are starting to move. So now we don't have as many utilities as we had before, so attacking this guy's not gonna be as fun. Um, but we can bounce off of Yoon, and then try to land somewhere safe. I mean, or just back here. Let's try that. Boom, boom. And then what we could try to do now, 
is, where's Luigi at? Luigi's way over here. And, I mean, he can't quite hit that person just because the sight is not completely lined up. So if I were to move Luigi here, and would I be able to hit him? Or would he still be out of sight? No, this would be a 100% chance. So why don't we move him here? And then we'll have him shoot at not, that is not what I wanted. I keep on making mistakes like that. That is not fun to make mistakes. Oh, but look at that, that was a honey shot, which is really good, because that means for the next little bit, he cannot move. I wish I had that move that Mario has here, because that'd be helpful too. So we need to make a goal to hit him as much as possible right now, because he cannot move. So right now, we need to smack you like that. Nice, and you just can't do anything about it no matter how angry he gets, so that's really, really good. I think that's really the most we can do with yeah, our characters right now. I could get the shield on, I just don't think it's quite the best idea. This is the last smasher we have to deal with, and then we just got two bouncers. Which are definitely gonna bounce around, that's what they do. And then he's gonna have a dead shot at Mario. Or no, he's gonna go for Peach instead. Rabbit Peach, maybe I should've gotten the shield on her. What are you gonna do? You're gonna bounce, oh, probably to Luigi or something? Yeah, poor Luigi, didn't ask for this. Okay, we need to focus on him though. However way we can do that. I think the best way probably is to, as Mario, jump off of her and jump off of him and then land somewhere where hopefully he won't be able to reach, but he will be able to reach from any of these angles. So maybe first what we should do is be Peach, slide attack him, and then just move back like somewhere like over here. Um, Well, maybe like here, that might be good. Maybe it won't be far enough off the scene. He might get angry. He hasn't moved yet. Okay, so that doesn't count as one of the moves that makes him angry. So what I can now do is bounce off of, no, not a, oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Oh, I'm the worst of all time, guaranteed, forever. All right, well then my best bet is to, oh, but, hmm, the thing is, is as Luigi, I can snipe him and get him mostly taken out especially since I have a 60% chance of bouncing. Or I could play the long version of this and try to hit one of these two dudes and basically take them out, or mostly at least. Hmm, which one though? I don't know, I guess I'll do that, because these guys are gonna hurt. Boom, 47 damage, actually could have been better, to be honest with you. Uh, But I can, can he side attack multiple enemies? Do we have that yet? We don't have that. But it is my best bet to being protected here, and then we'll do that. Boom. And then run. Run, Luigi, run. You, I know you can do it, buddy. So you're not in a good position. Does she have her attack? She does. So I think our best bet is just to attack you. I could have taken him out by now, though. I definitely could have taken him out. So upset, ouch! Forgot that that's how that works. Uh, poor Mario. Sure he has a bit of a headache right now. Okay, and then let's just get your shield up. That's all we can sort of do right now. So yeah, it's just this guy. So we'll survive this for sure. But if there's any kind of battle after this, we are doomed. We are definitely doomed. Um. So really I just want her to hide? Or actually, I don't know. Let's just make sure that she has a guaranteed shot on him. <laughs> she tripped. The poor thing dropped her crown. Just attack you right in the face. And then we're gonna have Luigi over here and slide attack, bounce. We can have him bounce off of multiple enemies and it's just so much fun because we can just have him just lap around basically. For no reason, I just wanna try this, ready? Whoop, whoop. <laughs> and this is a good position just to attack him. Ready, boom. And that should be it. I think he's finished off, yep. So there we go, we won. Barely, can we get a heal? Let's see if we get a heal for this, because if so, that means we finish this level. This was a tough one, even these, even though it was two battles, it's not, which means we have more to go with not that much health. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I don't like it one bit, but hey, if we can figure this out, we could actually get a good mushroom here. Hmm. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. We need to get that mushroom. So how can I do that? Interesting puzzles are getting really unique and challenging. Well, first off, let's go get these coins. 
Free coins are free coins, that's always nice. Wow! Luigi just doesn't like pipes. Uh, there you go. Let's get this. Boom, everybody got full Mario. Okay. We should be able to have Mario avoid some damage, though. There really isn't any other goodies here. Now, if we switch to yellow one, let's look around for the yellow one. Okay, so this one doesn't have like any must-have things. But there are two pipes up there. And I don't know which one is the right one, but it looks like I think we gotta go to the left. I think the left one is the one we wanna focus on. That's cool, but not what I'm looking for. And then finally we need them with the blue one so it has a match, just like that. And why I wanna go to the left one is because it seems like on the right side you can see there's a sign with an arrow. So I'm guessing that's the way we're supposed to go. So yep, I was right about that. We're gonna get ourselves Oh, we got five power orbs, awesome. Is that five power orbs for every character? I sure hope so. That's really good. Okay, so now finally, we just need to back up a little bit, make sure we're going the right way with that, and we are. Uh, None of these work for this one, so this one's just wrong. But this one might be more correct. Wait, there's more than one thing still. Something that might be leading over there. And where does that lead? I gotta find out now, don't I? Um. Well, can I find out even? Will this really work? I don't know. I don't think I can get over there. It's hard to tell, to be honest with you. <laughs> Let's go up this one. Yeah, it doesn't look like that pipe would have ended up leading anywhere anyways. So it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, definitely not, because it would have been something over here that we could see, but okay. <laughs> Defeat four enemies. So we need to be very decided on what we do here because we could, of course, oh, that smasher over there is not fun. Um, Let's prepare for battle really quick. What do we have going on here? Because we want these two guys to be attacked by the chain chomp because then they'll move more closer to the chain chomp and just create a cycle. We're supposed to defeat four enemies when there's only three smashers on the field right now. Well, we'll do what we can. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me actually go to my battle HQ. How much coins and stuff do I have? I have 361 coins, still not a lot of coins. Let's go to a skill tree. So now they have 15. So I guess really, it's not really changing too much. Yeah, soon though, soon. This has been a long episode. <laughs> They're all long episodes. This is gonna be a long game. We're still in world one, guys. We're like three hours or two and a half hours in the game about. And it's, we're still in world one. Okay, so I think Mario's best bet is to, hmm, how do I wanna do this? Maybe we should just have, first off, let's have Princess Peach attack him outright. Just like this, it's gonna make him mad and make him move closer. Just like that, but not close enough to attack. So now our bet should probably be to bounce off of Peach, bounce off of him, and have him land over here. I don't know if that counts as making him angry. It does It does or does not? It does not. Hmm, so we got some good opportunities here. Because I could uh, slide attack him and then bounce back here maybe, I guess. Because what we should be able to do is attack him and then activate like Luigi's attack to attack him while he tries to attack back. So let's activate that. And let's see how this works. If we play as Mario and attack Yoon, shouldn't Luigi in turn attack Yoon? Let's see, let's see. If I'm getting this right, yes. And then maybe we should have activated Mario's as well and maybe they would have been double attacking because that only did 19 damage. He's gonna turn around now and it is close enough to smash Luigi. So that's not good. But now we could Hmm. Get that nice and ready. We should slide attack you and then make you like finish right here to see if maybe, like, here's the thing. Right here she can't heal everybody, but I think if she stands in the center of this, she can. So let's just have you like bounce to like here. That's so unnecessary. I don't know why I do that every time, but every time I do do it and then heal. Yep, that's gonna heal everybody. That's really what I needed. Most people are close to full because of that. So now I can just attack you full on and it's gonna finish you. So maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I should have just slide attacked him. Golden shot though. 
I don't really know what determines a golden shot, but, hmm. So you're gonna attack him 75 damage. So do you get mad and try to attack him back? You don't, that's not fair. Oh, but Mario's gonna smack him, and that's gonna be good, because it will do half of his health, because he had 70, oh no, he had 75 health left, so it almost knocked him down to half. Um, But he's gonna go up that pipe, isn't he? Oh, he was going to, but he didn't have enough room. So we need to get off this platform ASAP, because the problem now is that, hmm, how do I wanna do this? I think I wanna get Princess Peach, or Princess Rabbit Peach, but do I? Maybe Rabbit Peach should be the one that stays up here? Maybe. Let's get Rabbit Peach like here. And then we'll determine if we want her to attack later. But first, I want to um, make you bounce, and then make you bounce so that you are, oh, precarious positions no matter what, right? Is that in Chain Chomp's range? It is no matter what in Chain Chomp's range. So we should just have him like, oh. Here, and see, hopefully the, we'll just end up getting the Smasher closer to the Chain Chomp than Mario is. He's mad now, but that's good because he's only at 10 health. So now what we can do is have Luigi bounce, bounce, land. Maybe we should have had him attack first. I don't know. But we have some options now. Because here's the thing, this dude, super duper low on, oh no, this dude's super duper low on health. If we did this, it wouldn't reach now, but it would reach if he gets closer. So now we should do this. But the thing is that Mario's gonna be in the blast radius as well, so maybe that wasn't the best idea. Um. Oh well, sometimes you gotta do or die. Boom. So it's gonna do 39 damage. He's gonna walk in this radius, be exploded, get another 53 damage, but Mario's still gonna get hit. Didn't factor that one in. Oh no. All right, we gotta get rid of you. And that's all we can do. So Mario most likely will die here. Um, Sorry, Mario. And we still have to take care of another enemy after this, because we had to defeat four enemies. Oh no, this will, oh, one health, come on. Smasher, go up the pipe or something silly. No, 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 no. No, don't do it. Mario, no. No, Mario, we've been playing so strategically well, I feel. I guess now well enough. Uh, And he can still go up here. But he can't attack us quite yet, but this one, almost. I'm glad these guys can't bounce off each other, that would be scary. <laughs> and, oh, there's another one popping up, getting ready. So, really my best bet then is probably to head down here. Mario is knocked out, so I just wanna get you like down here. <sighs> have you attack that guy and just sure. Hit him as hard as he can, 29 damage. I know he doesn't have a ton of health left, so maybe Luigi can even finish him off here. Not quite able to attack him. No, you can? Really, that's so bogus. That is so bogus. Because uh, I, I wish we could get a better understanding of what the range is. But from here, can I, well, from where I am, can I, I'm able to hit him and it will take him out. Boom. There we go, and it bounced him off too. Was that three or four though? I guess it was only three, so we're still not in a good position here. I need Luigi just to run away then. Do what Luigi does best, run away. So I guess that's all we can do. That's in range? Okay, he was trying to get in range, I see. Okay, so hopefully the Chain Chop ends up attacking these Smashers instead. Because they're getting closer and closer. This one's actually gonna be able to go down the pipe, but I don't think much farther than that. Close enough to hit us! Ugh. Why, why, why? Yikes, and then you, you aren't gonna be able to do anything, I'm not too worried about you. So my only focus right now is to, as the Luigi, well no, let's do this. Rabbit Peach, just get you away. Just get you the heck away. And then you should have a shield available? No, that's next turn. Attack you and get you closer so that hopefully the um, Chain Chomp will attack you. Because we need to get you down to 70 health. Because then the Chain Chomp can actually take you out. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to do that because we'd have to hit you for six, or I don't know. 46 damage, we could do that, especially if I activate this, and then just try to shoot you. Boom, and he should still be the closest one to the chain chomp, but it bounced him out of bounds, so we win, what a shot! Wait, what, no? 
It bounced him out of bounds, but he still survived. What the heck? What the heck? I guess they could still survive that. All right, well, you died down. Chain Chomp with the assist win. That's four of them. So we should win now, right? We do, battle cleared. Oh, that was a headache. Man, these levels just don't give up. They just get more and more difficult. Yeah. Okay, so, Precarious Pillar is completed. We only got an extra couple hundred coins there. That silver trophy stares me down again. We got over 600 coins, which is great. And the yeah. end. Let's go up here. Um. Oh, some rubber duckies. What's it? Why? Why is there a, such a fascination with toilet humor in this game? Oh, look! It's a flagpole with a shirt. I do it like laundry. Oh no! So in the next episode of Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, it looks like we are gonna go against our first full-fledged boss fight. Oh no! But for now, I guess, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment smashed zebra so now you've watched to the end and that you are a zebra-tastic viewer. If you enjoyed today's episode and you wanna see more like it, feel free to click on any of the videos on your screen right now or subscribe to join the zebra herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.